This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 o'clock uh, market update. And what we're looking at is the Dow's up 242 at 34,819. This is nice action. Look, it's taking out the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. It's one of the reasons why I was looking at this so closely and said, gee, maybe we should just as a trade get there three times long because we actually short, but we haven't uh, gone long for a, quite a little while now. Uh, to add to our core position from October. Uh, anyway, we might have missed that because this is a nice breakout of this inside track repellent zone. But it's not. An, it's a half an hour into the trading day. Anything can happen. It could double from here to the upside. It could reverse every day. We've seen reversals later in the day. So the day is young. And, but what is happening is helping this weekly chart. So let's just go on. I'll do more of this in my show. The Tiger Technicians are coming up. The s and is bouncing nicely. It's got a little gray leg B to the upside. Um, it has a different pattern. It's broken out from its falling axe formation to the upside. One to one has done it already. So it's kind of, it's not as strong as the Dow right now. The S&P, this is the QQQ coming up right here. This is the um, iShares. This is the sorry, Invesco QQ Trust Series pulling back from the heights up 53 cents at 374. So actually now the Dow is leading and the others are not following. It was a reverse yesterday. So looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, very weak action. That 200 period moving average is just like a magnet. It just can't go above or below. It keeps getting stuck there. But if it starts to trade at the 182 level, it pushes away and that's going to be very negative. It's not done that yet. Gold. Gold at this point is trading, oh, down 10 at 1922 is not acting well because this dollar, and this is going to be important. Look, the dollar's breaking out to the upside. <clears throat> if it closes on a weekly basis, if it breaks above it, that's great. But if it closes above the week of the 30th of the 10th of March, the high of 105 in the dollar index, 105.88, whew. That's going to be quite a break to the upside. At this point, that's going to be resistance. We're watching it closely. I want you to just go to the, whoa, well, I hit the wrong thing. Before we wrap up, I didn't do bonds in detail when I did uh, Tommy show just a moment ago. Yeah, bonds are down, yields are going up, and crude oil still very strong. I'll be back. Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my call daily newsletter. See you in a few moments.